Hello guys, and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is having crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, and even the black screen, which is happening for many of the users right now. And how we can fix this up? So let's start work it out. The first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure that you have to start with a restart so you have to do a fresh start so just do a restart on your system so just go over here to the start icon click on the power icon over here and go for a restart so once restart is done just try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not this is the first one you have to try next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam so basically we all launch the game from steam right so maybe that is the issue why we are having the crashing so if that is the case we have to launch the game from the installation folder so actually we have two methods in order to navigate to the installation folder the first one from here in the steam just go to the game right click and go to the properties now go for the installed file and just click on the browse so that will take you to this particular folder over here that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam amps, common, grand blue fantasy relink. Now from here we have to launch the game. So this is one method, you have a shortcut from the steam itself. Apart from this, we can also navigate to the installation folder. Just go to this PC. Now navigate to the local disk C, go to the program file x86, go for steam folder over here. Navigate to steam amps, go to the common. Now from here we have to navigate to the grand blue. So just go to the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Now from here we have to launch the game. So this work at many users. This help at many users. You can try this out. So hence we are in the installation folder. I'll I would like to make you notice few more steps that can be done from here itself. That is one is we have to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here in the game, right click, and we have to navigate to the show more options. Go to the properties. Now we have to go to the compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator just click on this one run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok that is what we have to do as the first one so if, if, if that is not working we can try running the game in the compatibility mode for this we just need to go over here right click and go to the show more options go to the properties go for the compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode and you can set this to windows 7 and go for apply or you can set this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok as well so once you're done with this one just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about make sure that the uh, you know you have to make sure the date time and region is correct on your windows so just go over here navigate to the uh, settings now from here navigate to time and language go for date and time make sure the time zone time automatically and all these three things should be turned on and also make sure the sync now is done i very recently i did this just click on the sync now so that is also work in many uses you can try this out so just make sure everything is being set automatically and time zone everything is set once it is all done we just need to do one more thing just go back that is we have to navigate to the language and region from here you have to select the region according to your country that means according to your geography for example if you're from united states you have to set this to united states and if you're from united kingdom you have to set this to united kingdom so you have to set this according to your geography and once you're done with this one just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to launch the game and you have to press alt and tab so just launch the game press alt and tab and that will be working fine and even it worked for many users in my knowledge so you can try this out as well next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer now from here we have to navigate to this pc we have to navigate to the documents now from here as you can see there are a lot of folders in the same way we'll be having the folders on the grand blue relink so just delete the folder apart from this you can also navigate to the my games and also from here if you find the folder for the grand blue you can also delete it as well so you have to keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game but even though that is fine it worked for many users you can try this out next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security so just go over here and search for control panel search for the control panel and open this now from here navigate to system and security go for windows defender firewall 
go for allow napor feature through windows defender firewall and navigate to the game so hence it is an alphabet keep scrolling down and navigate to grand blue so uh, we will be able to find the grand blue here that is grand blue fantasy relink and make sure the pub private and public both is marked which is very important so once it has been done you are fine with it but imagine in some cases the game will not be here if that is the case we need to add it by default so just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse and navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program flex 86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam and we have to navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to the grand blue now just keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to the folder of the game okay just open this open this and add it so uh, i'll be getting the error because the game is already there okay once if the game is not there just add the game make sure both the private and public is marked and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with for example the laptop which i'm using right now i usually play with joysticks and even i play forza horizon so i have connected my pc to the logitech wheels so if there even some case these can be an issue so just remove the un uh, you have to remove all the uh, you have to unplug everything all the usb devices should be unplugged and afterwards just launch the game and once the game is launched and you're in the game you can just connect it back and you can try continue playing the game I found this from the Reddit and uh, this worked for uh, many games, for example, I have to say Baldur's Gate 3 and even it worked for some users for the game, uh, in my knowledge it worked for, we recently launched one, this one, uh, End Shrouded and also it helped with many users, Pal World, so you can try this one. So uh, apart from this, you can move to the next one if that is not working, that we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to system configuration, so search for system configuration. Now from here we have to navigate to the services, go for disable all and go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for ok. So they can ask you for restart. So the users who are watching this, you have to go for restart, but I'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting, so I'm going to go for exit without restart. Once the restart is done, just launch the game and that will be working okay fine as well. Next one, we have to make sure that you have to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here in the game right click we have to navigate to the properties make sure this is turned off we have to launch the game if this is turned on you know uh, you'll be having the trouble so just turn this off and try launch the game and also you can try giving commands in the launch option so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties now from here in the launch option we have to give the first command that is dx11 start with dx11 and if dx11 is not working you can try with dx12 so personally i'm suggesting this step so in my knowledge this particular step helped many users so you can try this out you can either start with dx11 or you can start with dx12 and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay applications so just go over here in the start right click we have to navigate to the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so this is an important step so whenever you are launching the game for example the grand blue which is around 100 gb so whenever you are launching the game at the same time parallelly if any other thing is running in the background you will be having the crashing issue so it is quite important that you have to remove the unwanted things from here so for example i have to say discord reward tuner msc afterburner because these are overlay and overclocking application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so just remove the unwanted things from here and once everything has been removed just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search navigate to the graphics settings now from here, as you can see, I have already added all the games in the same way we have to add the game. Just click on the browse, navigate to the installation folder, go to C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, navigate to the grand blue, keep scrolling down, you'll be able to find uh, the grand blue over here, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so just open this and we have to add it. So the game is added, just click on the option make sure from the let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save and once it's been set just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game once it has been done if you're still having the trouble we can move to the next one that is all about we have to increase the virtual memory 
For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the view, advanced system setting. Go for advanced and go for settings. Go to the advanced and go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk. Go for custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we just need to go over here in the calculator. So we need to type your RAM. So the, P, the system which I'm using right now is having 32 GB of RAM. So I have to type the RAM. So you have to type your RAM, multiply with the constant value which is same for everyone, 1024 and you got a value, multiply it with 1.5 because uh, the initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So just paste this. We have to navigate to the maximum size, 32 GB, multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3, that is 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. And once every value is being set, we can just go and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about, that is all about we have to update the windows. So just go over here, make sure the windows is up to date, so just go to the settings, go for windows update. Just update the window. So if you are getting any update or any pending updates are there, for example, cumulative updates might be there or KB updates might be there. So if that is the case, just do everything fine. And once every updates are successfully done and once afterwards, we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card, which is a very important step. So just go over here in the link, which I'll be providing for the NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here and now from here you have to select everything. For example, the product type should be selected, product series should be selected and product should be selected 4090. And if the windows level, you have to select this one and go for start search. And now from here, when you go for the start search, we can just go over here. The uh, driver version 551.23 and we have to download this one, install, restart is mandatory and try launch the key. And we can also go over here in the graphics and we have to select this one and go for submit. Now from here, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can try downloading this one as well. Next one, if you're on the uh, Microsoft Visual C++, you can also try installing this one, that the Microsoft Visual C++, so just go over here. If the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one and install and restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Even after trying with this, if there's still the issues there, you can try two steps at the last. And one among them is we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back. Even it sounds crazy for you guys, but it worked. It. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the uh, manage, go for uninstall the game. And you have to reinstalling it back and it should not be on the local disk. So I'm having only one local disk, which is of one TV. That is fine for me. But if that is not the case for you guys, you have to try uninstalling the game from C and try installing it back on D or any other drive, not on the C. And last and the least step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file, which is a very important step. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So we are having these kind of issues when we have, uh, you know, the files are corrupted, we'll be having these trouble. So we need to wait this to reach 100% and afterwards I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
So once all the fires are successfully validated, just close the game and we have to try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these possible workarounds can be done when you are having an issue with the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.